Welcome to Adventurers, Braminettes here, and I'm back with another death battle. Oh, and, uh, today we got Naruto versus Ichigo. And, oh my god, anime is confusing. <laughs> I only understand Dragon Ball Z, oh my god. So, this seems like a close battle. I honestly can't and predict who would win and I'm not sure if I can I can't really go into details who's on who would win and so I guess the only thing I can say is is I'm rooting for Naruto because he was one of my childhood shows who else my brothers and I I loved watching it it, it was fun. And my favorite Naruto is jo my favorite Naruto character is Joji. He, he, but I never found out what happened to him. Um, and when I did, and found out uh, what happened to him, that was really sad. And poor Joji. So yeah, I'm rooting for Naruto to be Ichigo. Oh. So, let's see who would win. Three, two, one, go. But right now, it's time for a death battle! We got another sprite battle. There's not a doll. There's What's that energy? Is that a hollow? I sense a presence. Now, wake up. Oh, really? Okay, I guess it's starting like this. Whoa, he's invisible! You can't see me? Good. Nice voice acting. Oh, those slashing attacks. This is pretty good. Quit running, coward! <laughs> Then show yourself, coward. Not at all. Keep moving. I'll direct you. Oh. Oh, jeez. Oh no, that's a shadow clone. <laughs> yeah. The shadow clone. I see you. Oh, I'm going to wind these these forms already. Come on, not at all. Oh, then close. Oh, jeez, that mess. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is fast paced. It's a pretty good battle. Oh no. Really. She <laughs> might not exactly. Oh, the shuriken. Oh god. Yo, not bad. But I'm still gonna beat your ass. Oh jeez. Oh my god, it's so flashy. Give me a freaking break. Ooh! Oh, oh, oh my god! This going so fast! Is that the best you can do? Yeah, each goes not yeah. done. That's like his strongest form, isn't it? Oh, jeez. Karama! Karama! Oh, oh, let's go, Naruto! Oh, jeez. Naruto do it, or G or is Ichigo gonna pull a trump card? Screw you, bastard! Phew. Who was that guy? Oh Hello. my god! 
Damn. <laughs> was so, Even without huh? his powers, Ichigo never gave up. What a bad Oh, ass. hold on, hold on, hold on. Rewind. K.O. Damn. Chuck Norris is the guy that sucks it all? What? <laughs> what? What? How were they doing? <laughs> Naruto won. Let's see why. I don't know about these two. Uh, Alright, let's run. No. Even without let's his powers, Ichigo never gave up. What a badass! Sorry, Bleach fans, I know you all really wanted to win, but unfortunately, this wasn't it. Naruto had better training, a broader arsenal, and a better healing factor. And Ichigo's invisible ghost body didn't really matter. Shinigami may be invisible, but they're still present in the physical realm and can be touched by normal people. Kurama can locate individuals by simply sensing their emotions, and Naruto's even seen his own soul before. And with Six Pads power, he could see and fight Madara's Limbo clones, even though they were on a totally separate plane of existence. Also keep in mind that while Chakra and Reishi have fairly different uses, they both contain spiritual energy. Let's talk speed! Naruto can dodge light speed attacks and can move faster than lightning. A lightning bolt's return stroke is 220 million miles per hour, about one-third the speed of light. Ichigo has also displayed lightning fast speeds, and even greater. Near the end hmm. of the series, Ichigo took a trip that should have taken seven days, but instead took nine hours and 15 minutes. It's yeah. likely Gariji here was referencing his accomplice's speed. Like Ichibei, so like who can faster? knock his foes 2,440 miles away way and appear next to him in a second. You watch you guy beat him by going twice as fast, so we'll use that as Ichibei's limit. With that, we can get the trip's total distance and conclude Ichigo's top speed is 319 million miles per hour. That's Yeesh. massively hypersonic, but not quite light speed. Still, there's a difference between travel speed and reaction speed, as Naruto's already shown. Comparing them directly, Ichigo's best reaction should clock in at around 970 million miles per hour. 40% faster than light speed and Naruto's reaction time. Alright, point for Ichigo! Speed alone wasn't enough, though, especially okay, since so Naruto's sage powers gave him superb field awareness, making it difficult for Ichigo to land a fatal blow. If he could even land something fatal at all. Ichigo has always had a tough time damaging foes who have stronger spiritual energy than him. With that said, let's compare his Ryatsu to Naruto's chakra. Bad news is, across both of them, the only multiplier we know for sure is Ichigo's times 10 Bankai. The times 10 is difficult to achieve, but for Ichigo's sake, let's assume he gets the maximum possible boost from every transformation. His other forms likely don't boost his stats oh, this much. For example, when he used They're his Hollow Mask this to one, barely like overpower an Arankar, the situation and its results were similar to his then comparable Shinigami friends releasing their limiters, which gave each of them a boost of times 5. However, let's give the benefit of the doubt and apply the maximum times 10 increase oh to God, all of Ichigo's forms that clearly <laughs> increased his fighting forms. potential, as well as stack them even though many forms were in separate unconnected power sets. For the sake of argument, we're deliberately overestimating Ichigo's power. You'll see why. So here's our formula, but where do we start? Okay, Bonkai oh my God. with his holo mask <laughs> was on par with Ukiora's first transformation, correct? Well, nearly. Ukiora states his new form can destroy this? the city of Las Noches in the hollow world of Fuecomundo. What's that? Oh like my god! Mexican hell? Well, there is a wall. <laughs> Las Noches is square in shape and oh takes three god, days to walk really from one going corner into to a gate this. in the center of the wall. So it has a total area of 200,000 square miles. So much That's bigger than California. Freaking and destroying it in one go needs over 400,000 megatons of TNT. So plug that into the formula and there you have it. Ichigo's Ryatsu is equal to over 440 billion megatons of TNT. Thankfully, Naruto's chakra level is much easier to figure out. His chakra was once extracted and burst a hole through the hollow moon. He survived oh. the explosion, and it was explicitly said that this was nearly all of his chakra. Most of his chakra has been siphoned off. By measuring the aftermath from both sides, we found the blast to equal at least 480 billion megatons of TNT. 40 billion more than Ichigo. And don't forget, we were deliberately overestimating him. Also, this was base form Naruto, not including any increases from additional modes, which allowed him to block an attack that cut the moon in half. Of oh. course, the Oh, hold on. I got hooked. Okay, back. Like, jeez. Come on, guys. Spanik can only record up to 10 minutes. Come on, man.
had to be over 20 They're seven really going trillion into megatons. This. this proves Naruto can both output and survive a blast stronger than Ichigo is capable of. If you're thinking, wait, Boomstick, Ichigo survived a black hole in a box. That move doesn't really work like a black hole. Plus, the 814 kiloton Frager blast did hurt him immediately after, so it must have been weaker than that. But Wiz, weren't Kaguya and you Waka Waka Planet Busters? Waka, Waka, Don't Waka, they scale Waka, Waka, to him? Nope. Kaguya's Planet Buster <laughs> attack required <laughs> Chakra from nearly the entire Earth's population, not just her own. And while Yuwak's power was pretty OP, he couldn't destroy the world through his own destructive capability. He only planned to manipulate the delicate balance between life and death by stopping the flow of souls. Like a plate spinning on a stick, if one side gets too heavy, the whole thing comes crashing down. To sum it up, Ichigo had the speed, they both had the guts, and Naruto had the strength, durability, training, and abilities for days. Naruto <laughs> sure got the shonen jump on Ichigo. The winner is Naruto Uzumaki. Finally! God. Stick around, we're about to announce the combatants for the next death battle. And if you want to watch exclusive really commentary on this episode, into that. Box over there and start a first membership trial. Try okay. to grab one of these shirts, too. Let's see what's next time. Beyond vs. Spider-Man 2099! Oh! It's like a, a rematch between Batman vs. Spider-Man and but uh, future versions of themselves. Oh, holy crap! Oh, Spider-Zilla's so gonna enjoy Play that one, and so yes, Naruto won. And that battle was very flashy, very fast-paced. Is and and when it came to the conclusion, they really went deep into this. this that has to be like that has to be like like their longest, their longest. Conclusion and post analysis this is their longest explanation to why a character won. Now, that has to be a longer explanation, longer than than Hulk versus Doomsday. Hey, then again, and there is the two who Goku versus Superman's and Goku versus Superman and then Goku versus Superman 2. Who they really had to get into it to convince people that Superman would beat Goku. Who, but still, oh, holy crap! <laughs> I was not expecting the conclusion to be that long. Holy crap, that was good. That was good battle. Oh, flashy and fast-paced. He's, and they really, they went deep into this. Is an oh my god, anime is confusing. <laughs> so next time, Batman Beyond versus Spider-Man 2099. Oh ho ho! Future hero battle. <laughs> I can think of it like a rematch between in in Batman and Spider-Man. In, in, but instead of the future heroes, those, you guys get what I mean. That's gonna be a good battle. Oh, I'm looking forward to that one. And so yeah, that's all there is. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace and out.